Hello everyone and welcome back to Conquest. Today we're not doing any challenges, at least not thing in particular. Instead, today I'm gonna go clear out some of the bases that have just been attacking my sectors for the past five videos. Specifically, Zero attacking these two, 255 going after 163, 144 was going after 113, and 121 down here in the South Pole which is going after 264 and 60. They've been getting on my nerves for a long time now because every time I try to do a challenge, my bases get attacked every seven seconds and it's getting really annoying. So I'm just gonna take them all out. The thing is though about this, right? Sector zero is a medium, 255 is a high, and then these two are extreme bases. So let's just start with the medium, go up to the high and then go to the extremes. Sounds like a plan. Alrighty, starting off with sector zero. I'm gonna bring this core right here so I can get some exports in, although it is medium base, so they're not gonna destroy my core. but just in case, right? I also have no idea what I'm going to do. So we're just gonna launch in and we're gonna see what's going on and then I will decide from there. Okay. Welcome to Sector Zero, not to be confused with Ground Zero because they both are zeros. Okay, anyway, let's look at the sector here. We got water, scrap, coal, lead, copper, and some sand, but mostly salt. Uh, yeah, there's basically nothing here, and I bet the base is also pretty much nothing as well. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the easiest sector ever, so I'm gonna go grab some exports for like seven seconds, make like one unit, and then just go walk him up there and destroy everything. Alrighty, some resources have been acquired. We all know the drill. I'm just gonna, hmm, what kind of unit should I make? Can't make a water unit, unfortunately, because the water doesn't reach the core. So that's out of the question. I would like to use them at some point though, because they are very strong and I haven't really used like the tier threes and the tier fours of the water units yet. And I would like to try them out, but obviously you can't do that here because the water doesn't make it that far. So um, what kind of units should we use? Trees of Fortress? I guess we could also use tier twos. Why don't we just bring up like a hundred thousand pulsars? That'd be pretty funny. Let's just do that. Alrighty, there we go. Got that little thing going and we're just gonna wait here for probably about five minutes. And then we'll just march all the pulsars up there and destroy the core in about seven seconds. I also forgot what pulsars even shoot, so let's go look at that. Oh, they're the lightning dudes. Oh. All right, last two are coming in. This should be pretty easy. Alrighty. Grab all you guys. I guess we don't really need you anymore, so let's cut the power and let's send these guys up. I don't think we're going to have to make any more of them because I bet it'll all get destroyed basically instantly. Actually, we should just go over here. Oh my god, look at it. Yeah, well, there you go. And some of them are like on fire, but it doesn't really matter because they'll just heal themselves. Nice. We lost some. But it didn't matter because we could destroy the entire base in about, I don't know, how long did that take to walk up here? Like maybe a minute? Nice, we lost about half of our units, but that's all right, because we have destroyed the sector. Okay, that was easy. That was the medium base though, so that was to be expected, right? Next up, we're going to 255, which is a high threat base, so it's gonna be a little harder. All right, resources have been acquired. We are launching over to 255. This is a high threat base and let's go. couple things of note. Are these mine? No, those are derelict. Right. Okay. Sector of you. Spores, ice, and snow. There's a tiny little bit of water here and here. That's not that much though. And we do have thorium and titanium. Not a lot though. And there's also no oil and no thermal. So it's all right. I mean, it's got thorium, but it doesn't have much else. Oh, and also notably no sand. All right, anyways, uh, let's grab our exports before we die because I did forget to bring the core that's defended and there's another, oh my God, okay. Uh, that is a problem for future me. Current me needs to be sure that we get 255, okay. All right, resources have been acquired, although I did see some of them weren't coming in that fast. I don't know why I, I didn't bring their correct core, so I, I don't have time to deal with that. Let's just be sure we don't die off spawn here. I guess I could go take a look around while that's being built. There is 
a lot of these like X looking solar panel things and I don't know why. See, now they got the right idea right here. That, that, that's smart, dude. Uh, okay, yeah, basically it just looks like general hard base layout. We got one of the cores here and it looks like we got a second one here. Okay, and that looks to be it. All right, so it's just a lot of defenses in the way. What shall we do here? I don't know. I wouldn't mind building some tier fours, but we need to figure out what kind of tier fours. I don't think I've really done much with Vela. I have not done much with scepters either. You know what, let's just build some Vela. We haven't done them before. So let's build like five or six of them and just have them march straight through everything. I bet that could work. All right, first wave is here, and this is what I've got so far. I'm trying out a impact reactor setup instead of the mass RTGs like I do normally, just to see if it's plausible. I probably will still stick to RTGs just because they're nice, but I want to see what it is like setting up just one impact reactor. Normally when I do this, I bring three. Okay, and now we don't actually need these anymore, so we can cut that off and let this spin up fully. Okay, that just completely obliterated those derelict solar panels right there. Next order of business, since we have power, we have... 19k i mean these are still on a little bit but that'll probably drop to about 18 maybe 17 that's pretty good you know maybe just running one of these is a good idea all right anyways we've decided on using vela so we're going to need to produce these like that and then like that oh my god i barely managed to does this work i hope this works um 154 is under it yeah see this is what i'm trying to avoid here i'm just trying to avoid having everything be under attack Ooh. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. Unfortunately, I can't do much about that because that is a planetary launch terminal and that will be the last sector I destroy because it's uh, thematic, I guess. I don't know. And that should do. Okay. So now we just have to build all this and then we'll be good to go. We'll start making velas. It's probably gonna take 30 years to build them. So I'll probably just build like four or five, maybe six if we're pushing it, but we'll find out. Perfect. Okay. And we're still at 10,000 power. Okay, you know this impact setup? It's pretty good, you know. What's the build time on this? 90 seconds, but we're boosted by 150%, so that's like maybe 30 seconds. I could time it, or I could just sit here and watch it be built. Okay, um, well, we have five of them, and now we've run into a very interesting situation. Jeez. Okay, well, anyways, we're out of silicon. I don't think my export rate is what it should be. It isn't. Yeah, it's only at 800. It should be about 1,900, like everything. Well, not everything else. These three. What is going on here? I don't know. Export hub's being kind of funky today, so we might just go with these six, because this one's almost done. Let's just bring these six. I think that will do just nicely. Okay, that ripple is annoying, so let's go take care of it. Oh, yeah, and there's 154 lost. Yeah, I knew that was coming, and I just let it happen. I might have to do an entire ring around these, or I just beef them up super heavily. I'm not really sure what I'll do. Wait, do these guys have heals on themselves? They can heal themselves. Yeah, who needs, who needs unit healers when you can have the units heal themselves? Yeah, these things are good, man. I need to use these more. I, you know, I say this about every unit. Let's be real here. I wonder how they can hold up against the extreme bases, because I bet we're just going to walk right through the base here. No resource production. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Why are they just walking into it? Oh, and there goes the core, I think. I saw a big, like, battery-looking explosion, so I think that was the core. Oh, dude. I was gonna walk down here and destroy this, but I can't destroy this. It's too nice. Oop! Okay, we just swept right over those solar panels, and they died in instantaneously. Jeez. Okay, I guess we can actually find out how well they hold up, because there's a specter right here. Yeah, he's taking damage. Okay, let's get in there and destroy that thing. Oh, God. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, take the core out. Don't worry about committing a war crime. Nice! That went pretty well. And we did definitely just commit a war crime there by blowing up all those uh, monos. Okay, well... 
That is not my problem. Anyway, we are leaving the sector, never coming back here because that never happened. What are you talking about? I'm not a war criminal. What? Okay, next up, 114, which is an extreme. Also, it is in the South Pole region, which is good because I said I was going to take over the South Pole. And then I did like two videos on it. And I mean, we got pretty far, to be honest. Like, we got all this. And then I kind of stopped. So um, maybe that's what I'll do for the next few videos. Just finish taking the South Pole like I said I was going to. We are ready to go to 114. I'm bringing this core this time. Don't forget. All right, here we go. Alrighty, sector review first. We got a little bit of spores, mostly snow and ice. Decent thorium veins, decent titanium veins. No water, no oil, no sand. Yikes. You know, for a place with thorium, I thought it'd be ranked a little higher, but it's not. Oh, and there's another base there, dude. Oh my god. Alrighty, exports have been acquired. It's still being kind of funky, and I don't know why. We're getting 1.3k this time, though, instead of 800, so it should be a little better, but it's still not doing the, you know, the most it could be. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let's go look at this. Actually, oh my god, I don't even want to look. Jesus, dude. Okay, um, this is the extreme base, right? So let me plan out some things first, and then I'll go look. All right, so there's the RTGs. That'll take a little bit to build. Okay. Wow, okay, we got RTGs, we got these stupid little solar panel X's again, we got cryo tsunamis, we got a double specter turret tower, oh my god, we got three specters, okay, dude, whoa, 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 okay, we got one, two, three cores right next to each other, Wow, okay, what are we going to do here? What could we use here? I could also just default back to air units again, but that's kind of boring. Hmm, I don't know. Well, we'll I'll figure out what to use once I have everything, like, working, how about? Okay, now we need to figure out what we're going to build. I don't want to take Vela, because I did that last time. We could either do Scepter or Archeid, but I feel like Archeid would just get obliterated, so maybe we just build a bunch of Scepters. Yeah, let's just try it. Why not? If it sucks, it sucks, and then I'll just build something else. Oh my god, I'm out of silicon. Again? <laughs> Oh no, and there's no sand here either. I guess now we're just sitting here building these. We don't have cryo fluid yet. Let's get that real quick. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Am I stupid or something? Hopefully no one saw me do that. Fortunately, we can't boost this. Wait, hang on. I saw a comment that had a genius idea. So what they said was since you can only get surge and phase in there, right? If I just put a normal unloader on there and then we run a conveyor, it should just alternate. Oh my God, whoever said that in the comment, you're a genius, dude. Big brain moves right here. That's what that is. Someone cooked here. We have a scepter. Now I'm gonna move him up here to start defending our top area here because I feel like that's a good idea. So we can also move the rest of them up to there and then they'll start defending. Oh my God, geez, please shoot him. Yep, that's going to be a problem. Okay, um, we're going to have to get some um, something to fix that. Oh, great. Another sector's under attack. See what I mean? I can't deal with this all the time. It's so annoying. You know, I thought about horizon bombing. That was an option, but I'm pretty sure they nerfed that. So I, I don't know. I've never done any bombing like that before, so I don't even know how to do it. If you guys know how to do it, you can let me know in the comments and I might try it. But I don't know as of right now, so we're just going to send him in and hope for the best. Here we go. Please blow him up. Hey, you know, this is fairly effective, even though nothing happened. Okay, that sucked. Never mind. I take everything back. That was terrible. What? Yeah, this thing eats silicon. I really should get a factory set up, but can't. No scrap, no sand here. I mean, I could grind the scrap myself. Am I gonna... Ah, uh, fine. I'll do it. All right. Yep, there we go. Look at that silicon factory, man. Phew. Looking stylish. All right. I think I'm gonna start marching up with 16 of them. I just want to see how much damage they can do. And if they start taking some heavy hits, I'll just back them out. I want to be able to full send it, you know? So, full send. Here we go. Target that thing. Actually, target the one in the back. How bad are we? Oh, my God. All right, back out, back out, back out. That hurt. We got the, we got the turrets down, but it hurt. That's going to be really bad. Okay, especially over here. We're going to get hosed down. 
Okay, maybe these things are not that good. Um, that's not good at all for me because that's what I built. Yeah, let's get these all kind of healed up here. Oh dear, I'm scared now. I'm just going to try to carve a way in because we got two there and up there. Okay, so I could go all the way up, but I don't want to do that. I'd like to go through the middle. I'd like to go for this one first. So let's try to, yeah, let's try to carve our way in this way. Get rid of you and you can die. Yeah. All right, looks like they're gunning down a lot of these guys on the way in too, which is good. All right, now let's get rid of their power factory here. I'm sorry, RTGs, I have to do it, man. I don't want to, but I have to. I'm sorry. And let's go get rid of this up here. Now this is gonna be the problem area. I need to get these destroyed. I don't, they're not boosted by any fire rate enhancers, but I, they're still gonna destroy my units, which is not good. So let's wait until these air units get out of the way and then we're just gonna march straight up there. Hopefully they can take them out without losing anybody. I have 20 right now. I'm gonna shoot for that one. Here we go. I feel like we're going to be losing a lot of units here. Why are they going up there? Why are you doing that? God, they're stupid. Okay, we lost four. That's really bad. Oh my god. Okay. Back off a second, dude. Oh my god. Future prospects are not looking too good in this department. Good thing I am still mass producing these guys, although, uh, yeah, we lost four, but we had four built in that main time. Eh, yeah, these guys aren't the greatest. Okay, I definitely won't be using these for, um, a certain sector. I wonder what sector that could be. Anyways, on a completely unrelated note, we're getting close to 10k, and it'd be really cool if we got to 10k, because then I have to do the uh, unnamed sector that I'm talking about with uh, one piece of scrap, and that would be really torturous, and you would definitely want to watch that video, because I'd be screaming for 35 minutes, because I can't ever do anything. <clears throat> hey guys, let's go attack. Let's shoot these batteries before we all die to battery explosions. Thank you. Thank you. Let's try to take out as much of this as I can without actually getting involved with any of the uh, bigger turrets. Like, uh... Mm. Oh, we're skating on the edge of that foreshadow. Okay. And there's there any, like, coal in the available area? I would like to get some healers down. Oh, we got four more. Wait, is that it? I think that's maximum. Okay, let's get these guys over here, too. Oh, you just took a hit from the foreshadow. Let's back up a second, yeah? So I might just have to push with what I have here, which is also not good because I'm going to lose, like, so many of them. All right, well, just hope for the best, I guess. We're going straight for that because that's the only thing we have a choice to do, really. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot here. This is going to be bad. Yeah, okay, we've already lost one. Okay. Yes, please get rid of that foreshadow, dude. Oh, we're now we've lost three. Okay, foreshadow down. Let's get the core. I think we're just gonna have to march straight in there and just destroy everything. Okay, that core almost got down. Core down. Go up. Go up. Go up. How are we at? We're at 16 of them. Dear Lord. Come on, fellas. You can do it. Ah, that's a meltdown. Eesh. Core down. Let's get that foreshadow out of here. Okay, how many do we have? Ten. We're going all the way, bro. We're going all the way. We kind of have to. We don't have a choice. We're down to nine. Come on, fellas. I believe in your abilities. We're down to seven. Come on. Please. Come on, we got this. Oh my god, that meltdown. Come on. Right. Okay. Well, Scepter, I will say, not too bad. They're not good, but they're not bad. They did manage to get three of the very largely defended cores destroyed. We did lose 20 of them, though. That's where the problem comes in. I probably could have done that in maybe six quads. Yeah, they're not very uh, resource to DPS efficient, as you would say. So, uh, yeah, probably won't be using those. With 114 being taken down, I have successfully defeated three of the enemy bases in the area. 
I got zero, I got 255 and 114. So three less bases to worry about. Unfortunately though, while I was doing this, three new bases got discovered. So uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. So maybe I'll have to take these out later because I don't think I can do two eradication bases in a video. Maybe we can do that later, but not right now. I think we're gonna have to call it for today. I think we did We did some pretty good work. You know, we took out an extreme base, took out a high threat, we took out some annoying annoyances, you know. If, all right, that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about me doing two eradication bases in one video. I'll probably end up doing it no matter what, but I would like some advanced strategies because let's face it, my strategies, they're not that good. They could use some work, right? So let me know what you guys know because I need to know. Anyways, um, uh, now, what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stare at my RTGs. That's what I'm gonna do. Goodbye.